Usnea barbata, also called beard lichen or old man's beard. So if you've ever seen the Usnea lichen, you know that it's just a lichen that grows on a tree. And once you pick it, how you can tell it from other lichen is that you, it has a tiny little spinal cord in it. And if it has this little spinal cord in it, then you know it's the Usnea and not some other lichen. And some lichens can be taken internally and some can't, so it's definitely important to know your identification. Um, and just don't think that any lichen on a tree is automatically Usnea. We use the whole plant um, because it does have this very simple cell structure, so we're gonna use the whole plant. There's not a root or, or anything like that. Um, it's specific, it is antifungal, antibiotic, and they also say it is tuberculostatic, which means it's one of the few plants that will actually kill tuberculosis, um, which is really important today with all of our um, TB resistant antibiotics that we have on the market. Um, great for the respiratory system, the integumentary, it's bitter and spicy. The energy is cool. Um, we basically use it for bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. Um, we can use that topically or internally, depending on where the infection is. Um, and you really don't need much of it. Um, the only way to really prepare it is in tincture form. You're not going to get the active constituents if you make a tea. Um, there's no cautions noted. As long as you have a bacterial, fungal, or viral infection, it's going to be appropriate for use. Um, with the tincture, you really only need one milliliter, three to four times a day. If it's external application, you can use it as often as needed. Um, like I said, the newest studies really are showing that usnea can help stop the growth of tuberculosis, which for long-term care, um, this is gonna just become more and more of an important herb as tuberculosis is unfortunately on the rise again. Thank you.